Let's talk about lazy millennials. Guess what? Just a fucking myth. Being in this relative group myself and knowing, you know, quite a few people in this particular group, I can say, pretty much without a doubt, oh, and by the way, statistics do bear me out on this, so keep that in mind, that our generation, the millennials and beyond, are some of the hardest working people, actually, for some of the least benefits. If you do a basic analysis of even, you know, the most rudimentary of economic data, you can show that our generation does more work for less buying power than has basically ever happened in America. Our generation can't buy a car with the same amount of work, can't go to school with the same amount of work, can't do anything, including buy a goddamn loaf of bread for the same amount of work you could even 30 years ago. Things are not the way they used to be. You do not have the same amount of benefits for working that you used to. Benefits from working. That's funny. You know why? Because we don't ever get the benefits from working. You know, health benefits, insurance, all that shit, yeah. Would be nice, but in all the time that I have spent working, which by the way is a goddamn chunk of my life already, nobody has ever copped out enough to give benefits. It's just not something you expect to get at the lower socioeconomic status. It's just not a thing. The wealth stratification has more starkly affected our generation than it has any other. So when you hear people complain about the lazy millennials, who are also, by the way, accused of ruining basically everything ever, period, keep in mind, for the same amount of work that we do, the previous generations were capable of buying cars, houses. There was a time. I shit you not, when only one person in a family had to work a middle-class job for the whole family to survive. Seems crazy, I know. But that's the point, is that things have shifted in the economic spectrum so radically and so quickly that the previous generations really, I don't think, have for the most part been able to keep up with it. When you grow up with a certain way of things being, with certain things costing a certain amount, and if you worked a full-time job, you got these sorts of things. Well, when the rules change, the people don't change with them. It's, it's pretty obvious. This is nothing new. I mean, Plato wrote about the disrespect of the younger generation and their venture into immodesty, you know. So, it is nothing new. It's just a more acute version of the fact that basically every previous generation looks on the behaviors of the next generation with some amount of disdain and disbelief because it's not what they did. And if you factor in the whole technological change that where every decade is so rapidly different than the previous with technology and everything that each generation is growing up in effectively a different world, you have this huge disconnect between people that are 50 plus years old and people that are in their 20s and early 30s at this point where they've grown up in a very different world quite honestly you know someone who's 60 or 70 now can remember a way of things that is no longer in practice almost completely we've changed almost a hundred percent in the more economic and cultural aspects and you will have the complaints of them not even recognizing America anymore. How many times have you heard that refrain? That the America we know and love has been taken away. Well, there that, that's a big part of it. And it all relates back to this point that the millennial generation has sort of become the culmination of many previous generations sort of growing the wilderment and disbelief, I believe, that the way things have changed and the way how, how rapidly things have changed. And so there's this, this, there's a disconnect, a fundamental one. This is the generation now that won't remember what the world pre-internet even is. So when people go to judge the current generation, keep in mind that they are usually, not almost always, doing it by the standards of when they grew up, which is completely inapplicable. So chin up, millennials. The fact that we get so much hate for being simply around and doing what we do is not so much a sign of our ineffectualness or our laziness, but 
the previous generation's inability to acclimate themselves to the current climate. Yes? Just something to think about.